<laughs> Welcome back little light seekers. It's Miss Shannon here and on this channel we go through the beginner's bible with weekly lessons followed by a quick fun craft or activity after. This week we are continuing on our story with Jacob and something that he had to do which caused him to fall into a sleep and have a dream sent by God to him. It was a constant reminder to him while he was on the road alone. So get those listening ears out, follow along with the story, and let's dive in. Jacob's dream. Esau was very angry when he found out that Isaac gave Jacob the blessing. So Rebecca sent Jacob away for a while. Jacob walked and walked. When it was night, he stopped to rest. He put a stone under his head for a pillow. While he was sleeping, he had a beautiful dream. In his dream, he saw a ladder going from earth into heaven. Angels were going up and down the ladder. God was standing at the top. God said, I am taking care of you. I will be with you wherever you go. Now, when Jacob woke up, he said, now I know that God is with me. He took the stone he had slept on and stood it up. He called that place Bethel. He left the stone there to remind him of his dream. Wow. I mean, can you imagine having to leave everything behind from a choice that you made trying to get ahead and get that blessing? So we see that Jacob had to leave all by himself and just start walking. And I'm sure if you started walking all by yourself, you might be afraid too. So we can really think if we're all alone and we have to put our head on a rock to sleep, that God is with us. God had to send him that dream to remind Jacob, no matter where you go, I am with you. And God probably wasn't exactly happy with Jacob trying to deceive his dad to get that blessing. But even through all of that, God loved Jacob so much and he wanted to know no matter where you go, I am there. So today in our lesson, we are going to create our own little Bethel. So just like Jacob put that rock up to remind him that God is always with him, we are going to create our own little Bethel. So all we need for today is just a box of sorts. I'm going to be using a storage container and we are going to head outside to gather some rocks, some leaves, maybe a couple twigs for trees, whatever you find to create your own little Bethel for Jacob to sleep in. I know we are also going to include a little figurine that we are going to make Jacob. You feel free to do that as well, or you can make one out of paper or popsicle sticks, whatever you want. But this is going to be a reminder of our little place called Bethel that God, no matter where we go, if we only have a rock to sleep on, God is with us. So get that supply and let's go meet outside. your hands from all that digging in the dirt and sand and leaves because I know my hands are now clean. I really hope you enjoyed today's story and that you have your little place of Bethel somewhere for you to remind yourself that God is always with you. And if you like these videos, I would appreciate it if you gave the video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and always share with your friends so that we can be those shining lights out in the world today for those who do not yet know Jesus. Join us back next week when we learn about Jacob and the journey home.